I get to build my soulmate? Hell yeah. Hmm. Oh boy. Hmm. Both are nice, but I'll go with blue. Blue eyes, blonde hair versus blue eyes, brown hair. It's obvious. Did you finish building your soulmate yet? Not yet. I still have a few things I need to do. Bye, mom. I'm going to the shopping center. Do you need anything? No, thank you. Have fun. Whoa! I wasn't done building you. Uh, what? Nothing. Hey, you didn't tell me your name. Oh yeah, my bad. My name is... Hey, you didn't tell me your name. Oh yeah, my bad. My name's Chris. But aren't you Caleb? I picked Caleb, not Chris. Caleb is my twin brother. Yes, that's him. That's my soulmate. Where is he? He's your soulmate? Yes. Uh-oh. What? Uh, he's getting married tomorrow. What? I knew it. Something had to go wrong. Sure, just picked to meet him. I can help talk him out of it if you want. But you said it's tomorrow. Yeah, but I'm sure if his soulmate shows up, he'll change his mind. I don't know. Do you really want your soulmate to marry someone no. else? No. Then meet me tomorrow. Here's the address. Be there by 12. Honey, have your choices appeared Yeah, yet? they have. It's between fire or water. Okay, pick fire right now. Okay, relax. Amara, you picked fire, right? Yeah. Mom, I'm going to school. Why are you crying? And where's Mia so she can take me to school? Your sister Mia disappeared. What? Why? Because when she was younger, she chose water instead of fire. Hey, Amara. Hey! Why is the school so quiet? It's because everyone that picked water disappeared. We think they died, but no one really knows. Hey, sir, why did everyone that picked water disappear? No one really knows what happened, Amara. Why the question? Didn't you choose fire? Yeah, of course. Then you don't have to worry. Come with me. <sighs> Let go of me. We know you picked water. Please, it was a mistake. I don't want to die. Die? Where did you get that from? Those who picked water don't die. What happens is... Please, it was a mistake. I don't want to die. Die? Where did you get that from? Those who picked water don't die. What happens is... They are all arrested. And why are they all arrested? Because everyone that picked fire are using water as slaves. So that means my sister is with them? Yes, your sister was taken by... Okay, what are you waiting for? Take me so I can save her. Okay, come with me. Take this, put it on quick. Why? If you want to save your sister, you're going to have to dress like that. Wait, so does that mean you're also water too? Yes, I'm there disguised. There, no one knows who I am. Everyone, welcome Amara, our new member of fire. Hello, everyone. Go on, me. I'll make her tea now. Yes, miss, I'll go get it now. There you are. Enjoy your tea. I'm going to get you out of here. Amara? And now, Amara, I will need to do a test to see if you really are fire. And now, Amara, I will need to do a test to see if you really are fire. You know, I'm not really feeling well right now. I'm feeling sick. I need to go home. Okay, come back tomorrow. Remember, this test is really important. Of course. Mom! Honey, where have you been? I've been so worried about you. There's something you should know. What? I picked water. What? It was an accident. Oh no, they're gonna take you too. You don't have to worry. I got this under control. I know where Mia is. You know where Mia is? Where is she? The fires took her. The tree and I are slave with the rest of the waters. We need to get her out of there. Don't worry, Mum. I have a plan. You're fire, right? You can help her and all the waters escape. How am I gonna do that? Hey, put this on. We're going back there. Mommy, what's a love maker? You can make people fall in love. Cool. She's lucky she has that ability. She's not lucky at all. It's a curse. Hey, you're the love maker. Can you make Jake fall in love yes, with me? Yes, of course. Okay, bye. You're welcome. Hey, love maker, can you do me and Emily? Sure. Thanks. Hey, love maker, please do me and. Do you even know my name? Yeah, it's um. Um. Doesn't work on myself, I guess. Hey. Hey. I was wondering if if you could make Sarah like me. Mm -hmm. Hey, love maker, can you? I'm tired. Can you just leave me alone for a bit? I know you hate when people ask, but can you make me love myself? I know you hate when people ask, but can you make me love myself? 
Hey, honey, how's school? Mom, do you know if I can make some all of themselves? You can, but it comes with a price. What's the price? When you use your ability to help someone find love in themselves, you'll lose the ability to love yourself. Is that something you're willing to do? Hey, I really want to help you. Really? Yeah, I mean, that's what I'm here for, so... Oh my gosh, thank you so much. I could never thank you enough. I'm glad I could help. Hey, love maker, I really like Jessica, can you... Can you do me and... I'm never gonna find love again, am I? Amara. What do you want? I'm sorry for asking you to make Sarah fall in love with me. It was a mistake. I'm in love with you and I really hope you can be in love with me too. I'm in love with you and I really hope you can be in love with me too. I don't know if I can. I mean, I want to, but I'm the love maker. I'm supposed to make people fall in love, not make myself fall in love. Only if there was a way to get my love back. There is a way, but it requires you to lose your ability. As much as I love my ability, I can't live like this forever. I think it's time for me to give it up. Wait, are you sure? I've never been more sure. This time. So how do you feel? I feel amazing. It's over. You ready to start living your life? Let's go. My soulmate likes wine red. So you have to wear an outfit of that color to find your soulmate. <sighs> what? Mom, I'm going to school. And why aren't you wearing a red outfit? I don't like red, and I don't even care about finding my soulmate. Amora, I met my soulmate. Seriously? How? I'm wearing the color he likes. Well, I'm really happy for you. Amora, come with me to the princess event. Princess event? Yes. Can I wear whatever clothes I want there? No, you have to wear the color your soulmate likes. If you don't, you'll get kicked out. What's the purpose of this event anyway, and why do we have to wear the color our soulmate likes? The prince wants to find his soulmate. If a girl wears a dress with the prince's favorite color, it means he's our soulmate. I don't have any dresses. I only have this top and one red. It's fine. That top looks great. <sighs> what do you think? It's beautiful. I'm sure you'll be the most beautiful girl at the event. Let's go to this great event. Let's go. What do you think? It's beautiful. I'm sure you'll be the most beautiful girl at the event. Let's go to this great event. Let's go. Finally, we're here. This place looks amazing. Sarah, look. There's a girl with the same color of clothes as me. One of you two are violating the rules. No, I'm not lying. My soulmate's color is this tone of red. Okay, I believe you. In today's event, my son, the prince, will find his soulmate. The girl that is wearing a dress with his favorite color is his soulmate. Why that face, Amara? I'm a bit nervous. Where the hell is the bathroom? You don't watch where you're going? I'm so sorry, I just... The prince should fire a person like you. I'm so clumsy. I'm sorry, let me introduce myself. My name is Liam, the prince of this palace. Wait, so he's the prince? I would like to announce that my favorite color is... I would like to announce that my favorite color is wine red. Wine red? That means I'm his soulmate. Girl with the red dress, come here. He doesn't seem angry with me for what I did. Yes, your majesty. Sorry for earlier. I didn't know you were the prince. Of course. I forgive you. You're my soulmate. Everyone's saying Amara's the prince's soulmate. Yeah, the prince's favorite color is exactly that tone of red she's wearing. Don't celebrate before victory. What do you mean by that? Did you forget? Yesterday there was a girl with the same color top as you. But after the announcement from the prince, she left. But why'd she leave? Maybe she's hiding because she's planning something. Planning something? Yeah, so be careful, Amara. That means I have to marry the prince as soon as possible. Amara, come with me. Now that I know you're my soulmate, do you accept to marry me? Yes, I accept. The wedding's about to start. I just hope that girl doesn't show up. Hey, wait, she's the fake soulmate. The wedding's about to start. I just hope that girl doesn't show up. Hey, wait, she's the fake soulmate. Who are you and why are you wearing clothes with that color? I'm also wearing the shade of red because it's my soulmate's favorite color. Whoever's wearing it as well is lying. I'm not lying. That's my soulmate's favorite color. Both of you, stop it. It's my favorite color, so I will prove who my soulmate is. Everyone believed that she was the prince's soulmate. Yeah, and she continues to wear red clothes, even though she knows her soulmate doesn't like that color. Do you know what? The only liar is you. We'll see. You're getting kicked out of this palace very soon. So now, I'm going to prove who my soulmate is. How are you going to prove it? Just say what color you like. I will wear it with the color I like. I like purple. I like gray. Okay, I'll put the clothes on. 
What's the delay? Look, the prince is coming. What's the delay? Look, the prince is coming. So, looks like I was right. The prince is wearing grey clothes, meaning I'm his soulmate. Grey? Is it true you already knew the prince liked the shade of red, which is why you wore it on purpose? No, I'm telling the truth. My soulmate's favorite color is white and red. You broke the rules. Get out of this palace now. What? Finally, she's been kicked out of the palace. The prince's real soulmate is beautiful, right, Amara? Too bad your lie didn't last long. Why are you covering your red outfit? Why wear this color? I don't even like red. I don't know why I even bothered. Everyone just thinks I'm lying and the prince kicked me out of the palace. What? He kicked you out? The prince I know would never do that. Yeah, well, he did. Amara, the prince needs your help. He's in danger. My help? He should ask his soulmate for help. Don't be like that. You have to help him. Why would I? He kicked me out. What if I told you that wasn't the prince? What if I told you that wasn't the real prince? What? The one that appeared with grey clothes yesterday at the palace wasn't the real prince, it was his twin brother. The prince has a twin brother? Yeah, and he's trying to take his throne. So we have to find the prince, but where? His twin brother probably locked him up somewhere, so we have to find him as soon as possible. You're still wearing the prince's favourite colour. You do know that he's found his soulmate, right? You do know that that wasn't the real prince, right? Stop making excuses. You're just jealous he didn't pick you. The real prince is in danger. Prove it. I'm not going to prove anything. You decide whether to believe it or not. You have to find the prince soon so people will believe but you. But how are we going to find the prince? What colour do you like? Purple. Why? Because the real prince must be wearing purple clothes at midnight tonight. It's already late and so far no sign from the prince. Hachu! Amara, did you hear that? Someone just sneezed. It's already late and so far no sign from the prince. Amara, did you hear that? Someone just sneezed. The prince! Let's get him out of here. Come on, get up. Your majesty, you're wearing purple. Does that mean you're my soulmate? I think so, yes. <coughs> we have to take him to the hospital. Fortunately, there's no permanent damages. He just needs to rest at home. Take him back to the palace. Okay, we will. Thank you. What are you doing here? The prince rejected you and kicked you out of the palace. They won't believe you until the prince wakes up. Then we wait for him to wake up. The prince's soulmate is getting married tomorrow, but why is Amara still wearing red? She's just desperate. You all know the truth when the prince wakes up. Whoever that girl is marrying is the prince's twin brother. Stop making stuff up. You're just jealous the prince chose me and not you. Soon, you'll see that I'm not lying. If it's true, bring him. I can't do that. He needs to rest. Well, I'll only believe you when I see him with my own eyes. How's the prince doing? I'm doing fine. Come, let's prove everyone wrong. How's the prince doing? I'm doing fine. Come, let's go prove them wrong. What are you going to prove? I'm going to prove to them that I'm your soulmate. Come, let's go. There they are, the fake prince and his soulmate. How on earth are the two princes? I already told you, the person next to you isn't the real prince. I am the real prince. That one there is just trying to pretend so that he can become the next king. Don't lie, you set up a trap, but thankfully Amara helped me. How about we ask father who the next king will be? I agree. I agree too. We all know my soulmate will be the next king. I knew you were on this with him, but it's okay. Let's see who's gonna win. Your Majesty, we need to take care of the king. And why are you saying this? I'm afraid they're going to do something to him. Your twin brother really wants to be king and take your throne. Don't worry, I'm going to introduce you to the king. I would like to announce that the son that will take over my throne is... I would like to announce that the son who will take over my throne is... Amara Soulmate. Thank you so much, Your Majesty. What? That's not fair. My soulmate was supposed to be king. You know very well that your soulmate was not next in line for the throne. Mine was. But father, you can't do this. I'm your son too. Yes, you are. But did you forget what he did to the queen? Queen? What did he do to the queen? He killed the queen, his own mother, and sold her crown. I still haven't thanked you for saving you me. You don't need to thank me. I did what was right. It was also thanks to my best friend. I wouldn't have been able to do it without her. The important thing now is that everyone knows you're my soulmate. Amara? Yes, Your Majesty. Thank you for saving my son. Also, you look beautiful. Thank you. You ready to walk down the aisle? So ready. Let's go. Look at how ugly I am. Of course I'm going to pick the beauty pill. Is that her, the ugliest girl in school? Yeah, that's her. What hard. do you mean? Why is my beauty pill not working? Class, we all know there will be a contest for prom princess. Who's signing up? Sir, I'd like to sign up. 
Why would you sign up? You look like Shrek's door. I didn't just sign up. I'm also going to win and be the prom princess. Don't make me laugh. Let's bet on it. All right, let's do it. Whoever loses the bet needs to leave the school forever. Deal. The pill needs to load quick. Prom is about to start. Finally, it's time. Three, two, one. Sir, it's fine. She has unlimited breaths. <sighs> I'm still alive. How is this possible? Klaus, is everyone okay? Yeah. How did we survive? We were lucky I picked unlimited breaths. That's a lie. I'm the one that has unlimited breaths and saved us all. Sir, that's not true. She's lying. <sighs> well, if that's the case, let's do a competition. I accept. Whoever wins can prove that they can breathe underwater. And you can only do that if you've picked unlimited breaths. You both ready? Yes. yes. Okay, let's do it then. Three, two, one. Are you both ready? Yes. yes. Okay, let's do it then. Three, two, one. <laughs> I can't do this anymore. See, I told you I was the one with unlimited breaths. Jessica, why would you lie about your breaths? I didn't lie. Well, you clearly did. You lost the competition. Whatever, girls, let's go. You saved our lives. How can we pay you back? No, it's fine, really. I'm glad I could help. Amara, you're the best. I'm sorry we're all mean to you. We really appreciate you helping us. As a thank you, we want you to have this. What is this? We all decided to give you some money. I hope it helps the situation at home. A million pounds? No, I can't take this. Take it. You deserve it. Mom. Hey, honey. I'm really sorry for the way I spoke to you earlier. It's fine. Hey, take this. You don't have to sell the house anymore. Good morning, honey. Morning, mom. Huh? 200%? Why is this percentage thing above my head? Oh, that's the level of love someone feels for you. Wow, so your love for me is 200%? That's right, honey. <sighs> hey, Amara. Hey. Let's walk to class together. 10%? This whole time you said you love me like a sister. Turns out you were just lying. What? What are you talking about? There's no point pretending anymore. You're just fake. I thought she was my best friend. I can't believe she was pretending this whole time. Hey, babe. Hey. Are you okay? Yeah, your love level for me is at 100%, right? Yeah, of course it is. If you don't like me, why are you dating me? We're over. Mom, home. My daughter's so stupid, you can easily lie to her. What did you lie about? I told her it was a love percentage, but it's actually a hate percentage. My daughter's so dumb, you can easily lie to her. What did you lie about? I told her it was a love percentage, but it's actually a hate percentage. Mom! Honey, what are you doing here? I thought you were at You school. lied to me. Now, because of you, I've lost all my friends at school and I broke up with my boyfriend. Oh, honey, I'm so sorry. No, no, you're not. Why do you hate me so much? Because you're a spoiled little brat. What kind of a mother hates her own child? I'm not your real mom. What? Your dad cheated on me and your real mom wasn't ready to raise you. So your dad left you here with me. He's always traveling for work and I've had to raise you all on my own. Is that why you hate me? I hate you because I haven't been able to live my life how I was supposed to. I lost my job because I had to take care of you. Well, I'm sorry I was such a headache to you. Hey. What do you want? I'm sorry for what I said yesterday. You called me fake. I know, but it was all a misunderstanding. Will you forgive me? I hope I get a good magic power. Move things? That's not even a power. It's normal to move things. I don't want it. Good morning, Mom. Good morning, honey. Make sure you're ready for magic school. Yes, Mom. Did you choose your magic power? Not yet. What? Why? How are you going to magic school with no magic powers? That's so dumb. Relax. I'm just waiting to get a good magic power. I don't want to get a lame one like the rest of my friends. Ouch. Look what my powers can do. <sighs> okay, okay. Stop. You're hurting me. I can hurt you without even touching you. That's a lame magic power. What's your magic power? I don't have any magic power. Then who are you to make fun of me if you don't have one yourself? I'm gonna tell everyone that you don't have a magic power. No, don't! Hey, you don't have a magic power, right? No, I don't have one yet. I hope I get a good magic power this time. It has to be better than my friends so they don't bully me again. Fly? Just fly? No, that's boring. I'll decline. Honey, you refused your magic power again? Because they gave me flying as an option. It's so boring. You can't keep rejecting. Just accept one already. No, I'm waiting for a good one to appear. Look, it's the girl with no magic powers. You do know if you keep rejecting, you might not even get one at all. I'm just waiting for the perfect one to appear. You're useless. Let's go, guys. 
I'll give you time until tomorrow. If you don't have a magic power, you're leaving the school. But sir, my magic powers are still loading. I don't know when they'll give me a next one. I don't care. You have 24 hours. Yes, it's loading. Okay, this time I'm gonna have to accept it. Otherwise, I'll get kicked out of the school. Please give me a good magic power. Please give me a good magic power. Mind control? Why do I always get bad ones? I want to refuse it, but I can't. Otherwise, I'll get kicked out of the school. Accept it now. But mom, I said do it. All right, fine. Look, it's the girl with no magic powers. She shouldn't be allowed back in the school. Who says I don't have any magic powers? I have a magic power. Really? And what's your magic power? I can't tell them. They'll bully me. I don't want to say. It's a secret. Sir, am I allowed to stay in the school? Do you have a magic power? Yes, I do. I picked one today. All right, then you can stay. Thanks, sir. I'm so scared. Imagine someone finds out about my magic power. I can't let anyone know that I got mind control. Everyone, we'll be practicing our magic powers today. Practicing our magic powers? Yes, everyone should know how to use them. Amara, you just pretend to have magic powers so you can stay in the school, right? No, that's not true. I have magic powers. If you have magic powers, why don't you want to tell me what it is? Fine, it's mind control. Mind control? That's the most greatest magic power. The greatest magic power? If you really have that power, then I want to challenge Challenge you. me? Yep, to see if you're telling the truth. Okay, fine. I'll accept the challenge. Good. Look, guys, I'm going to use my powers on Amara. Wait, why isn't it working on her? Wait, Amara, do you really not feel anything? Feel what? Why are you all looking at me like that? I know about your magic power. You can control minds. What? How do you know? Because you have the strongest magic power. I can feel strongest, it. Strongest? But I don't know how to use it. It's easy. Just use your feelings. Feelings? Yes. Amara, did you accept the magic match against Jennifer? Yes. Then the competition will start now. Now? Yes. Oh my gosh, I don't know how to use my magic yet. Why so quiet? Are you scared to fight me? Okay, the magic match will start in 3, 2, 1. The magic match will start in 3, 2, 1. Why isn't my magic working on her? Amara, use your magic now. Yeah, you said you had magic powers. Why aren't you using them? Because I don't know how to use it. If you really don't know, then why did you accept Jennifer's challenge? You know what? It's decided. You've lost this magic match. Lost? According to our agreement, if you lose, you're out of the school. No, I don't want to leave magic school. You accepted my challenge, so you must accept the consequences. What? Hey, old lady, I lost against Jennifer. I told you, you have to use your feelings. Are you afraid? Yeah, I'm scared. That's what keeps your magic from appearing. You shouldn't be afraid. So, my feelings make my magic appear? Yes, you already like someone, right? I like my best friend. His name is Jake. Then approach him now. Huh? Right now? Yes, go and tell him how you feel. It's so cold in here, isn't it? Jake? What's up? I like you. Why does my body suddenly feel warm? And I feel like I like you too out of a sudden. Wow. What just happened was love magic. Love magic? Yes, every feeling has a magic power, which is different. And the greatest magic of all is anger. anger? Yes, that's right. Amara, sign this letter. Why do I have to sign this letter? Because you'll be leaving the school, so you need to sign it. But I don't want to leave the school. I've learned how to use my magic. Why is it suddenly raining outside? So this is your magic power. Yes, sir. The magic you just used right now is the sad feeling. Sad feeling? Every time you feel something, your magic starts working. That's such a cool magic power. You still haven't used the feeling of anger. You need to use it, but it will only work if you're really angry. Oh, I don't get angry easily. You have to, because it's the strongest magic. Okay. Why are you still in the school? I thought you got kicked out. You don't have a magic power, so you don't deserve to be here. <sighs> I told you so many times, I have a magic power. If the teacher don't kick you out of the school, I'll make you leave. Knowing people's age or knowing people's address? I choose knowing people's age because often people lie about how old they are. 
Morning, mom. Morning, honey. Huh? 26 years old? Why did you lie and say you were 50? Because I'm embarrassed. I gave birth to you when I was only 12. 12? Does that mean you were still in school? Yes, but I got kicked out. Since you're still young, why don't you get any more kids? I really want a sister. Giving birth isn't that easy. What if we adopt someone? Adopt? Okay, I don't care as long as I get a sibling. Hey, bestie. Hey, Amara. 17 years old? How come you're 17 years old? We're still in first year of high school. Because I didn't go to school for two years, but please don't tell anyone. Calm down, I won't. Amara, this is your report card. Thanks, sir. Why am I grade so low? Because you're not smart. Raise my grades, otherwise I'll tell the principal that you're 70 years old and he'll kick you out because you're not allowed to work when you're 70, you should be retired. Okay, I'll raise your grades, but please don't tell the principal. That's more like it. You want to be my girlfriend? We're the same age. <laughs> you think you can lie to me? You're a few years older than me and I don't want to waste my time with someone like you. Bye. Hey mom, your new sister's here, why don't you go get to know her? You already adopted someone? Yes, she's in the living room. I can't wait to meet her. Hey, what's your name? My name's Olivia. Olivia? Yes, sis. Sis, why are you looking at me like that? It's nothing. Why can't I see Olivia's age? I need to find out how old she is. Olivia, your room's right there. Let me help you with your bag. I wonder what she has in here. Huh? Since when did Olivia have dentures? I let you hold my bag, not go through it. This is yours? No, I got them from my orphanage. Here, give me my bag. Mom, we have to kick my new sister out. What's wrong? There's something wrong with her. I can't see how old she is. Maybe there's an error in the system. But just now, I found dentures in her bag. She already said it belonged to her mother in the orphanage. There's someone new in your house. How did you know that? I know you're trying to find out how old she is. Wear these glasses, they'll help you. These glasses? Where's the old lady? How come she's gone? Olivia? Since when did you wear makeup? You're still young, you can't wear makeup. I'm trying to cover my moles. Moles? Yes. Anyway, look, I got new glasses. Glasses? Wait, aren't those? Yes, soon I'll know Olivia's age. Anyway, look, I got new glasses. Glasses? Aren't those? Yes, soon I'll know Olivia's age. Can I please borrow those glasses? Give them to me. How old are you actually, Olivia? I already told you, I'm eight. No, you can't lie to me. You're 250 years old, but how come you're still in this world? What the heck? I'm still eight. Mom! Mom, you have to get Olivia out of here. She's not a person. What's wrong? You've always been begging for a sister. She's 250 years old. You're jealous of her, aren't you? No, I'm not. Please, you have to believe me. You know what? Get out of this house. Only come back when you fix that attitude of yours. Fine, I'll leave. Luckily, I've got the address of Olivia's orphanage. Why are you here? I'm looking for this address. That's the address of a nursing home. Nursing home? Yes, as far as I know, there's no orphanage around there. I'm still gonna check it out. Okay, when you get there, follow the signs. Why is there only old people around here? Why are you here, young lady? Is there an orphanage around this area? No, only nursing homes. Wanna come yeah, in? Yeah, sure. Excuse me, miss. You can't enter this home. It's only for the elderly. I just wanted to ask. Do you know a girl named Olivia? She's from an orphanage in this area. No, I've never met a girl named Olivia. But the address is correct. Anyway, I'm gonna go in and check. Okay, but I warn you, it's very dangerous. Yeah, whatever. I knew it. There is an orphanage. Look at all the kids. Are you here to adopt us? How are you so old but look so young? Everyone in this orphanage are like this. Okay, this is creepy. I need to get out of here. Emily, hurry up and get me. I sent you the address. Okay, I'll call you back. I'm just going to check it. Amara, the address you sent me isn't appearing on the map. Also, it doesn't exist. Hey, all of you, why isn't this address being detected? People who enter the forest can't leave unless they've adopted someone first. What? Okay, does anyone know Olivia, the owner of these dentures? That's Benjamin's. Benjamin? Yes. So, does that mean he's a guy? Yes, he's a boy, but he looks like a girl. Anyway, where did you get the dentures from? He's at my house right now with my mom. Then your mom is in danger right now because he is... He's at my house right now with my mom. Then your mom is in danger right now because he is... He's a psychopath. Psychopath? Yes. How do I get out of here so I can save my mom? You won't be able to get out unless you adopt someone or someone adopts you. 
Emily, can you contact the nursing home here so you can adopt me? Adopt you? Where the hell are you now? I'll send you the number now. Please call them quick. Where's the owner of this nursing home? The owner's right in front of you. A thousand years? What do you need? You own this nursing home? Don't be surprised by my small body. The older I get, the smaller I get. I want to ask, my friend contacted you to adopt me. Yes, but I refuse. Huh? Why? Because she needs to be an adult in order to adopt you. Then how do I get out of here? Someone's adopted you. Why are you lying? The owner just said my friend couldn't adopt me. It's not your friend. Not my friend? Then who is it? The security guard? Thank you so much for saving me. Can you take me to the police station? Sorry, I can't. I only adopted you to help you out. I have to look after this nursing home. Okay, thank you, sir. Officer. How can I help you? There's a 250-year-old man living at my house and he pretends to be a kid. That's crazy. I don't believe you. I can see people's ages. If that's true, what's my age? You're 50 years old. That was just a coincidence. How old am I? You're 45. Okay, take us to your mom's house. Your mom's not in here. She left a note saying she went to the nursing home to look for you. That means she's stuck there. Officer, can you help me adopt my mom so she can get out of there? Hello. Huh? You were the security guard from yesterday. How did you turn into a child? Come on, we need to hurry up. Why is there no sound coming from inside? We have to break in. Three, two, one. Please, I hope I can let my hair loose today. Huh? Ponytail? Why do I keep getting ponytail? I just want to let my hair loose for one day. Mom, I'm going to school, okay? What hairstyle did you get today? I got ponytail again. It's okay. The important thing is that you don't break the rules, okay? Okay, I have to go. I'll see you later. Oh, look. The horse tail is coming. Why do you get ponytails every day? Right? I'm bored of seeing her hair like that. I don't know, but the important thing is that I don't break the hair rules. No wonder Jack cheated on you. He cheated on me? His girl is beautiful because her hair is always untied. Jack, why are you cheating on me? What did I do wrong? Because I'm bored of your hair. At least my new girlfriend's pretty and her hair is loose. Okay, your loss. I'm sure tomorrow I'll get loose hair. <laughs> you wish. Please let my hair be loose today. Not again. This is so embarrassing. I told my ex I'm going to have loose hair today. Now he's going to think I'm an idiot. Mom, I'm going to school. Be careful, honey. Why? I know the neighbor got pigtails, but she took them out and her consequence was... Her consequence was what? I don't want to talk about it. Hurry up and get to school. All right. Ponytail again? At this point, I'm not even surprised. I thought you'd have loose hair today. You were so sure about it yesterday when I broke up with you. First of all, you didn't break up with me. I broke up with you. And second of all, I'm not in charge of this thing. I can't break the rules. You're not as beautiful as my new girlfriend. What? You don't suspect Jack's new girlfriend. Why should I suspect her? She always has her hair untied. I only get it once a week. Looks like she's breaking the rules. Breaking the rules? Yes. Let me go through her bag since she's not here. What's this? If her hair is untied, why does she need to carry this many hair ties? She's definitely breaking the rules. Macy, I think Jack's girlfriend's breaking the rules. Why are you so sure? I just checked her bag and she has so many hair ties. If her hair is always loose, why does she need that many? If she's breaking the rules, why hasn't anything happened I to her? I don't know. Please let today be the day I can let my hair loose. Two pigtails? No, I'm not doing this anymore. If my ex's new girlfriend can break the rules, so can I. I'm going to school, bye. Didn't you get two pigtails? Why is your hair on time? I don't care. If others can do it, so can I. Don't. If you break the rules, you can... Don't tell me. I'm going to school. I want to show my new hair off. I'm going to school, bye. Didn't you get two pigtails? Why is your hair on time? I don't care. If others can do it, so can I. Don't. If you break the rules, you... Don't tell me. I'm going to go to school. I want to show my new hair off. Jack, look at your ex. Her hair's untied. Wow, beautiful. Did the system finally let you keep your hair loose or did you cheat? I already told you, I can also get loose hair, not just your new girlfriend. I don't believe you. I don't care if you believe me or not. Did you break the rules? Yes. Amara! I told you, nothing will happen. What if, for example, I don't get caught? Everyone gets caught eventually. I'm worried about you. <sighs> Calm down. So, you opened my bag yesterday. And what if I did? Do you have anything to hide? Like maybe all those hair ties in your bag? I'm sure you broke the rules too. No, I actually didn't. We'll find out later. Please, just this once. Can I have my hair untied so I don't have to break the rules anymore? Braids? I don't even know how to braid my hair. I guess I'm going to have to break the rules again. 
As long as no one knows, it's okay, right? You broke the rules again? Yeah. Gosh, Amara. Why? There's a hair break in detection system here today. They're gonna be checking if anyone's Wait, breaking the rules. Wait, they're coming to this school? Yes. Hair check will start soon. Hair check will start soon? What am I gonna do? Did you bring any hair ties with you? No, and also today I got braids and I don't even know how to braid my hair. I can help you. You can just use one of my hair ties. Come. No, everyone's gonna think I was lying and I'm gonna look bad. I don't want to. I guess I have to say goodbye to you because soon everyone's gonna know the truth. You think they won't find out about you too? You also broke the rules. Don't worry, no one will find out. You'll see later. Why does Jack's new girlfriend ever get caught? She breaks the rules every single day. I don't know, maybe she knows a way around it. Amara, please come forward. There will be a hair check. I have to go. Be careful, okay? Is it true that you got your hair untied today? You didn't violate the rules, right? Yes, sir. And no, I didn't violate the rules. Let me have a look. I hope he doesn't find out. Okay, done. Wait, there's still a second check. Assistant, please bring me the comb. Yes, the hair rules are changing. Please give me loose hair so they won't find out I broke the rules. Yes, the hair rules are changing. Please give me loose hair so they won't find out I broke the rules again. Huh? Bold? So, turns out you did break the rules. Take her now. Where are you taking me? Just follow them. <laughs> Where am I? People who violate the rules are brought here. What? You're my neighbor, the one who broke the rules, right? Yep. Now that you're here, your hair will be controlled by your soulmate and not the system anymore. Controlled by a soulmate? Yes. Oh, look who it is. My ex's new girlfriend. I thought you said you didn't break the rules. Turns out you did. Whatever, you broke the rules too. Well, at least now I know the truth about you. I've given up. It's up to my soulmate to choose my hairstyle this time. What? Why isn't it appearing? Maybe your soulmate's sleeping. <sighs> okay. I wonder what will happen if we don't listen to our soulmates and just do the hairstyles we want. What happens is you won't be able to get married in the future. Wait, really? Yes. So, if I do all the hairstyles he tells me to, I can get out of this place, right? Yeah, but you'll have to follow the rules for a while. Then why isn't he giving me any hairstyles? I already told you, maybe he's sleeping. No, there must be something wrong. He can't sleep at this time. There'll be a new hairstyle tomorrow. If you don't get one by then, you can start getting worried. But for now, just relax. Come on, please choose a hairstyle for me. Still nothing? There's definitely something wrong. I have to find out. Hey, do you know the creator of this hair system? The creator of this hair system is in that room, but no one's ever seen his face. He always wears a mask. What's wrong with you knocking on my room like that? Take off the mask! And who the hell are you? Where is my soulmate? Why isn't he choosing any hairstyles for me? Your soulmate doesn't want to set any hairstyle for you. So you're free to choose whatever hairstyle you want. Take off your mask! Alright, if that's what you want, okay. You know me, right? Dave? My childhood friend, right? Actually, I made this hair system so I can meet you again. I knew you wouldn't follow the hair rules because you've always liked to do your hair however you wanted. It just made it easier to what? find you. Tell me where my soulmate is. Your soulmate's right here in front of you. Surprised, huh?